Heil Hitler. Kia ora koutou. Taika Waititi. Uh, what's the movie called? Jojo, Jojo Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> We've literally just come back from the theatre. Discussed it a little, but here's our fresh take. Yeah. Uh, spoilers. Spoilers yeah. Uh, discussion because we just want to talk about it uh, as much as we can and not be limited by what we can't say. So, yeah. You loved the movie, didn't I you? I love this movie. I loved yeah. it as well. It was me. And, okay, just because we're from New Zealand, that doesn't give us any bias, I don't think. This was a wow. great movie. No, yeah, it was a really good movie. Uh, obviously, the movie focuses around uh, a wee German boy called Jojo Rabbit, uh, who's learning to become a Nazi uh, with his imaginary friend Adolf. Yeah, so... The he, he fantasises about becoming a Nazi, but he's not really cut out for it. He's trying... To be something that he is. Be something that he isn't. And consistently throughout the movie, denying how ridiculous the Nazi uh, propaganda yep. and mm, all their ideologies really are. Yeah. Especially with the relationship, the main focus of the movie is the relationship between him and a Jew who's actually, Living. his mother has hidden in the yeah. walls of his house. But, yeah, so, tell us what you loved about the movie. Uh, well, is it, first of all, I think, because since we did love the movie so much, is there anything that you didn't like about it? Just out of the way. Uh, no, not really. I mean, I did say that there were some scenes where it's like Scarlett Johansson and the, the wee captivity girl, Elsa, sitting in, like, an attic talking. But that's all character development, so I was yeah. kind of fine with it. Yeah. Um, but, no, I, I love this Once movie. Once you see where it all... What it builds Leads to, to. Yeah, 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 Everything is worth it. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you want to start with? What do you want to um, talk about first? I don't know. What would you like to start with? I don't know. It's, we haven't had much time to think about it, but we can just give... We can say our first opinions. And my favourite my favorite thing about the movie is the relationship that develops between uh, Elsa, the wee captivity Jew, and Jojo, the yep. wee Nazi boy. Um... You get, at some stages, you get real, like, Boy in the Striped Pajama vibes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, I don't think it's spoiling the movie by saying that the Nazis lost. Um, I mean, we're spoiling the movie anyway. Yeah, but... <laughs> but, yeah. But, you know. Um, no, that was, that was definitely my favourite part. Uh, the ending is just... Uh, it had so many, it kind of, like, twists and turns, kind of. Yeah. So, um, as we've said, the main focus of the movie is the relationship between... What was it? Uh, his, Elsa. And his name isn't Jojo, though, is it? Is it That's kind jo- of a nickname. Johannes. Or Johannes something. or... Something like that. Juventus. Juventus. No, he's uh, not the football club. <laughs> but he, he starts off this movie in almost a Nazi training camp for children. Yeah. Where they're training kids who are about, I think he's 10 years old. Yeah, he's 10 um, at the start of the movie and then he's 10 and a half at the end. Yeah. <laughs> they're teaching him all the shit like their opinions about Jews how they think they're demons and everything and training them for combat even though these kids are yeah just kids I mean that's that's what happened in real life though so oh yeah I'm just saying oh, in real life like, it's, yeah it's insane th- that's the thing though with Jojo Rabbit it is a comedy but all the all deeper the stuff meanings happen. Yeah. are because before you s- before you see this movie, you might think, oh, it's going to just be... It's making jokes about Nazis and thinking it's all funny. But it's, at some point it, it, it does. But it, most of the time it is criticising how ridiculous it is, especially yeah. with Tyke as Hitler. And he... The way he says... Like, he is saying things in the movie which is what Hitler really believed and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, but he's making it sound so... So satiric, ridiculous. Satirical, which yeah. Are, which is what it really was. It's really parodying all the Nazi... Mindset and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, what was, what was your favourite part of the movie? My... F- oh, I don't know. I really just enjoyed the whole movie. Uh, it always seems like Taika makes his movies... They look like just a fun time. Yeah. To, to be involved with. Uh, especially the scenes between him and the... I don't know, the actor, the kid actor. Roman, Romain, something. Roman so, Reigns. <laughs> yeah, Roman Reigns. <laughs> the little something dog. Something like that. I think but it's Roman or it, something like that. It just like looks that. like such a fun time, and you know that... Um... One thing I did hate, 
Okay, oh, so did you actually hate something? Rebel Wilson. Oh. But that's so, just, as a person, though, I hated her. She had some funny things in the movie. There's like, a, when her name, because I don't know if she was in this, when her, I looked at you when her name, because I don't like her either. No, I, her, I can't stand when her Rebel name, Wilson. But I actually thought she, it was a bit hit and miss sometimes, but overall it was better than most things. It wasn't bad. Um, I liked her death. That was that was my yeah, favorite Yeah, Rebel Wilson gets blown up yep. by a tank or something. Yep. <laughs> and it's, you don't see it, but... It's implied. Well, you see her run out, and then the next minute, a fucking bomb hits. So, just where she's run. Ninety percent of the movie is the relationship between. We've got Jojo and his mother. So his mother is Scar Jo. Yeah, played by Scarlett Johansson. Whose name is Rosie. And, she isn't. She sees the war for what it really is. She's saying that it's pointless. Um, Obviously, we find out that she doesn't agree with the Nazi ideology about Jews and everything because yeah. she's stashing a Jew in her yeah. wall. And what was she actually doing with I think that? she worked for the Rebellion. Or something. Not because Star Wars she, Rebellion, but... She had the paper the, with yeah. Free Germ... Was it Free Germany? Yeah, yeah, Free, free like Deutschland. It. And she was po- posting it around or... Yeah, she just was placing it. So places. she was working for something which, I guess... Um, a, yeah, kind of rebelled against the, Nazi the Nazis party. from within Germany. Yeah. And her husband, which is Jojo's dad, is nowhere to be seen. Well, he's, I think he's out fighting for the rebels' rebellion. Yeah. That's kind of what it's implied to be. It's, that it doesn't... That's just a bit of background around the family and gives a contrast between Jojo, who's trying so hard to be a Nazi, just because... He thinks his dad's fighting for the Nazis, but... It's kind of implied that from any other person's point of view, he's out fighting against the Nazis. Yeah, because that was the thing at the start. They're all talking about his Had dad. Had a coward and stuff like that. Yeah. So I don't, I was, at the start, I was a bit like, oh, how do they even know his dad? Isn't he just some random kid? But I guess they yeah. must have... He must have been like a... Tr- they like must have known about Deferred it. or something. Like. And we got uh, Sam Rockwell as... What was his name in the Captain movie? Captain K. Captain K and he was he stole the movie for me. Every funny. scene he so was in was hilarious. He's this he's Michael Bisping. One of, yeah. One of his eyes is blind, so he's not allowed to fight in the war. So he's just had to resort to training kids. Yeah. <laughs> how gets, to be Nazis, and he he just he keeps getting demoted. Yeah, he's taking the piss out of the whole thing. But and, then he has a redeeming ending. Yeah, but let's just let's Let's, go, let's try yeah. and go from the start. Chronological to the end. order. And um, so yeah. Uh, the, I really liked the relationship between him and... Because you the get the sense thing. that a few of the Nazis that they don't really believe in it, like the whole cause, but yeah. they're just going along with it anyway. Yeah, kind definitely. of like Jojo, but he's a bit too naive at this point to really understand um, like the whole ordeal at, from a mature level. But yeah, Rockwell was so funny. Him and um, Alfie Allen, who was in Game of Thrones, was he was the the guy who... Heavily implied that they're gay. Heavily implied that there's something going on there. I mean, not that it, it, is mat- kind of confusing, not that it matters, but it's just some funny scenes. Because it was kind of... Sometimes I felt like him and Jojo's mum were banging. <laughs> and then other times I felt like they were gay. Captain K yeah. and Alfie Allen. I don't Allen. know. That, it doesn't matter, though. No, it's really not at all. So, <laughs> Jojo Rabbit is... Um, well, his name's Jojo. Uh, Rabbit's the nickname that he gets. Because he can't kill. He can't... He is presented by the douchebags that you don't like. There, there's uh, a few just... just, like, teenage Nazis as well who are yeah. kind of training them. And he's given the task to kill a rabbit, yeah. which he won't do because he's, again, trying to be something that he's not. So he gets given the name Jojo Rabbit, which is, you know, the title. And Taika Waititi is Hitler in his head. Um, it's pretty much like you'd say the voices in his head, Randy Orton, yeah. <laughs> that are telling him to... That, as what he thinks he should be doing, but not really what he wants to be doing. Yeah. He doesn't think he's capable of it himself, but you've got Hitler in his head always saying... Oh, you know, Hail Hitler, this is for the Nazis, yeah. this is for Germany. Um, Should we just talk about that quickly, the Hail Hitler? Oh, that was, that was hilarious. The movie. So you'd have just multiple people. Um, like, there's a scene with the Gestapo raiding his house. Yeah. And um, each of them says Hail Hitler one of well, the like time. There's like five or six of them. So it'll be like Hail Hitler, Hail Hitler, like back and forth. And then more people will come in and be like Hail Hitler, Hail Hitler. And it would just it go was, on. And it, it was, was so hilarious. funny. Um, 
What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so the thing I thought, I don't know if this was implied or if it was just me picking up on it, but um, Jojo Rabbit, the how he was, the way he acted and everything, even though he's a kid, I feel like that could have been um, relayed, I guess you'd say, to all Germans, not all Germans, but ones who were Nazis heavily um, in favour of what Hitler was doing and stuff at the time. Yeah. Like, they all, in a way, were kind of um, uh, children looking up to this figure yeah. who were easily manipulated and stuff like that. No, yeah, I kind of got that as well. Like, at, And then at the end there, he's kind of naive to the fact because he's just too far in. Like, yeah. when... Uh, well, no, actually, no, we'll talk about it later. We'll go in chronological. But yeah, so he he runs off into the woods crying, uh, and then obviously Hitler gives him a pep talk, and he runs back in, steals a hand grenade, and blows himself up. Yeah, so he he blows himself up to become hideously deformed, but not really. Yeah. He's just he got just a few. Has like he's a got a few scratches on him. But that's the thing. It's like Hitler. Every time he feels like he can't do something, Hitler's encouraging him to do it, and it ends up working worse for him. Yeah, it's just, which just again goes to show that he shouldn't um, shouldn't be doing it. I mean, nobody should really be listening to Hitler. No. But it's not like... Again, yeah, we've said this, but Hitler is really parodied in this movie. Oh, yeah. Not that they're... Um, Making stuff Because he still is somewhat Hitler. Like, he go, Tyker goes on the Hitler rages and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, stuff like that. So he is representing him, but... Yeah, he just does it in a way that makes it seem so dumb. Which it is. Like, all oh, the Nazi ideology is crazy how they think... The Jews are demons with horns who are allergic yeah, to... Yeah, they can food. mind read and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, I loved some of the lines from the Jewish girl as well, how she, um, he's like, oh, draw a picture of Jews or something, and then she just draw, or we, draw a picture where you live, and she draws a picture yeah, of Yeah, dumb, dumb conf. And then, um, he's like, why'd you draw a picture of me? And she's like, because that's where I'm living, in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that just, they just... Rent-free. That goes for everything. Like Rent-free, like the a mob of were, and rock holds. Yeah. <laughs> the Jews were living in the Nazis' head, because, um, we're kind of just going all over the place, but we've just seen the movie, so we're not, yeah. we're just spitballing. But, uh, the scene, again, where the Gestapo came over, and the Jewish girl was just dressed up in normal clothes and pretending to be the sister yeah, of Jojo. Yeah, I mean, nobody notices. Like, nobody notices, because Jews are... Oh, well, I mean, this is a hundred... Not a hundred, but so long Close ago. Now, it. like, no one, obviously, unless you're Nazi, white supremacist, thinks that bullshit. Yeah. But, yeah, Jews are no different, and that's really where I think Jojo starts to realise that he... He... The Nazis are dumb. Yeah. They're stupid. And... Kind of changes his tune, but not fully, because... His moment of realisation at the end is good. Um, yeah, but shall we, um, a lot of this movie is just the relationship building between Jojo and the Jewish girl, um, because he's, he's scared of her at the start, and then he kind of, Hitler's, every, Hitler's telling him to, like, oh, do what she's doing to you, and get inside her head, and think that she's safe here, and stuff like that, but in the end, he just ends up, I mean, he falls in love with it. Because he's always denying, um... He always wants to keep hanging out with her and stuff, and he's, he makes it seem like it's because he wants to shut on her for being a Jew and yeah. um, as being racist, but I think it really is just because he likes her and um, he's fronting as a Nazi. What she yeah. says, she's like, you're not a Nazi, you're just a little kid. You're a scared 10-year-old little boy. So most of the movie is just that, where there's not really much to expand on apart from, yeah, relationship building and... Uh, building to the climax of Jojo, changing his whole tune, real, um, leaving the Nazis in the yeah. dust and everything. But, uh, do you want to talk about the death? The death. death of Scar? Yeah. So basically, after the um, Gustavo from Big Time Rush comes in, and but, ra- they so raid the before house. Before that, though, we've had a few... Um, so we've seen that she's stashing the Jew, so we know her... Um, we know that she is... Opposed to the Nazi, she makes it clear, yeah. especially to Jojo, who's trying so hard to be a Nazi. She, um, he knows that she doesn't agree with any of this. Well, I, does she ever find out that he knows better? About the Jew? Yeah. Uh, not fully. No. I don't know. She, I guess she does kind of know, but yeah, um, not to that extent that he's hanging out with her every day and stuff. Like yeah. That. So, 
Yeah, I guess she is working for some kind of rebellion against the Nazis. She's um, have she's planting these f- free things. Deutschland. You don't get to find out too much of what she's doing because Joe is always like, oh, she's out. She must be out late, yeah. and so you do you do feel like something more's going on there. Um, but I guess it kind of is from the point of view of Jojo, Jojo and he just wouldn't think anything of it. Yeah, which is good. Uh, and, and so he's out in town one day. And then this is after they've raided his this house. This is really stuff. when it seems like everything's going so well from yeah. at this point. Like they've just finessed the uh, Gestapo from not uh, thinking that. What is her name? Elsa. Elsa, Elsa is a Jew. Uh, she describes herself as a sister. And we also get uh, Captain K. He reads the papers of the sister and obviously sees that it's not her. But he's helping them out. Still helps him out. So you get to. He's in the way. He's kind of starting like, his redeeming arc. Um, I guess he, um, because the Nazis have pretty much mugged him off, he's just like, oh, fuck yeah. you. Like, he doesn't care about them at all. Really. Yeah. And uh, he even says, like, because he's training them um, in a pool, and he's in the swimming pool. He's and they're got, all drowning and, he's and like, stuff. He's like, oh, yeah, because, you know, eventually, obviously, we're going to have to be fighting in a pool yeah. in a sarcastic way. So he just does think the whole thing is dumb as well. But um, So they've just finessed the Gestapo. Joe is out walking in town. And it, this is really when he's realising that he's like in love with Elsa. Because I, that's what I took from... Because Scarlett Johansson described it as when you fall in love with someone, you know, you get butterflies. butterflies. And he's chasing this butterfly around town. And then it pans up and you just see her shoes. Yeah. And because they've they've shown people being hung um, in the streets, yeah. so I guess, are traitors towards the Nazis. And so or just Jews. Jojo's running towards the... You don't see it, though. You just see it. It's you following see the it butterfly, pans, and yeah, then it yeah. just pans up to her shoes above the ground, and you just know straight you away. You never see her face or anything. Which I thought was perfect. Good, yeah. It just... You, it, oh, it, it, it hit me hard, eh? Yeah. Because I really didn't expect it at all, and it was just done so well. I mean, we you don't care about her character that much. Oh, I did. I mean, oh, you I don't... So well, I'm just saying, I was so close to crying. So I'm just saying funny. you're you're a lot closer to Jojo. She's not too much of a main character. No. But, um... There is, a, like, an ongoing thing between Jojo and ScarJo is that, um... She's always having to tie up his shoelaces and stuff like that. And then when he looks at the shoes, her shoelaces are untied. And he, he tries tying them up and he can't. That was the part I that feel like that in a me. way is it's reminding him that he is just young and yeah. he can't tie his shoes. So he's trying to do all the stuff that's for adults, I guess you'd say. And he can't do it. So And he does he has to go out and fend for himself. He has to But yeah, Scarlett Johansson's death, mate. Yeah. Fuck. That was that was that was just so well done, I thought, and just it blew me away. I don't you just have to say obviously if you're watching this I hope you've seen it because we're spoiling it yeah. but um, fuck that was it was emotional that was emotionally and when it comes out for download I will have a cry to it yeah I, I can't like I can't cry in a movie theatre in front of people <laughs> I have before but um, that was that was tough and the acting of the kid who played Jojo in that yeah. scene was phenomenal because yeah. throughout the movie he was a bit um, I found sometimes a bit average some not most of the time he's great, but sometimes it was just a bit average. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> this isn't this isn't a negative at all. I'm just saying this, but there, there's not really any attempts for German. They are they they're trying to do German uh, accents, but it's like this movie is a comedy, so yeah. it's not a hundred percent serious. It literally is Elizabeth Olsen. Yeah, and, and, Scarlet, and Scarlet Witch, Witch the accent, but that's just that. Who cares about that? Um, <coughs> so at the end the. We'll just cut to the end. Cause the like, Allied forces invade. The Allied forces invade whatever town they're living in in Germany. Yeah, Deutschland. And this is where you really... This um, This was kind of just showing us how the effect the war had as a whole. Yeah. Um, it was more just an insight to how fucked up the shit the Nazis were doing. Yeah, like the, the scene where... The war, like it's go, they're getting attacked and the like the Americans and stuff are invading, and then you just it pans around and you just see the people that are fighting for the Nazis, and it's like it's, the, it's the German shepherds, not the dogs. Yeah, it's the kids. It's like people with disabilities. 
and stuff like that. And Re- it's like what hurt me hard. I mean, it's kind of played for comedy, but Reba Wilson sending the kids out and yeah, she's tucking bombs into their pants and shit, and it's like, oh, go out and give an American a hug or something like that. Yeah, go out and hug them, and I was like, fuck, like that. It's supp- it's kind of a joke, but at the same time, it's fucking like mental to think about and she's giving kids but guns it, yeah. and stuff and at the same time it, like it's made to have comedic effect but it did happen in real life and stuff yeah. and it's, it's, it's pretty it's, lit it's, it's played for comedy but not to an extent where it's like it's dumb it's, yeah. it's funny like you're laughing at it but at the same time you're thinking about the deeper meaning behind it and yeah. how this really went on but yeah, the Americans invade and the war ends. Everyone gets captured. There was actually, because I thought this movie would be like, I mean, it probably didn't have a big budget, but that end scene looked pretty great, I yeah. thought. Like, with all the war and everything going on. Yeah. Um, but, and, oh, actually, before the war ends, Rebel Wilson's character puts a jacket, a Nazi jacket on Jojo, which yeah. is, it kind of plays into it a bit later on. So, yeah, the war's ended, the Americans have won pretty much now yeah um jojo was just hiding throughout the war because it just it shows it from his point of view him looking around at everything and realizing it's just complete carnage and a waste of time all these people are fighting for nothing really they've everyone's saying the germans are losing but they're still fighting hitler's dead there's no point in fighting and everyone's still doing it because they're pretty much brainwashed by him to just you know do all that shit um so he hides uh wakes up later comes out morning or something like that um, and he's just walking the streets and then he gets captured by I mean, Americans yeah because he, obviously he's wearing a Nazi oh but well, we need to mention though Rockwell Captain K so <laughs> early in the movie he drew this picture of himself with this like fantasized oh, yeah, 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 suit yeah. on and he's like oh yeah I'm gonna wear this in yeah. the war um, and he's gonna have a gun which is a, what a Gatling he, gun a Gatling gun with a speaker on it yeah. that'll play music to dishearten the enemies yeah. and stuff like that and then it just cuts to him in the war with that suit on yeah and it, that was fuck, that was hilarious it that was, was so funny Rocco was so good in this movie yeah oh. and then um, so uh, Jojo gets captured by the Americans because he's a kid. Um, so would, would they shoot him as well? Yeah, probably. But um, he gets put beside Rockwell, Captain K, who's um, still alive after the battle, um, waiting to pretty much just be killed, killed by the Americans. And... Gives him a pep talk, says his mum was a really good person, and like a really good person. Um, uh, that's kind of when I got the feeling that they'd fucked. But he's... Gay. I don't know. But so that, it was kind of mixed feeling. Uh, and he... Pretend... He takes the jacket off Jojo, pretends he's a Jew, and so he can... Spits on him. So he can escape and yeah. go... He pretty much sacrifice. I mean, he's dead anyway. He's yeah. going to get killed anyway. There's no way out of it. But he saves Jojo's life, which I thought was... That was awesome. That was just... Um, that was a full, full made, circle. Made, he just has a... Um, and because at the start of the movie, ScarJo obviously says to him... You know, you made my son look like this. You have to look after him. And he he, he actually does, does throughout he the movie. saves his life. Multiple occasions. Yeah. And Sam Rockwell just has a history of playing characters that you are meant to hate but end up loving. So that's good. And the movie pretty much ends with... Um, Jojo going back to his house. Jojo going the, back to his house. This is where I thought I was going to not like it. I, I really it didn't know what the ending was going to be. Yeah. So jo- At the jo- start, I thought the ending was going to be him just getting shot and it being Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Yeah. But Jojo goes back to his house and goes up to the Jew... <laughs> what, what would you call it? She's like behind the, the secret cave. door that goes into the wall. Yeah. He goes up to her and he says the Germans have won. I want you... You're just going to have to stay in here. Which... Um, isn't him still being, like, a Nazi and shit? It's just him, because he pretty much loves her. He wants to stay with her there. Yeah. And I feel like uh, maybe he still was struggling to let go of the whole Hitler fantasy a yeah, bit. Yeah, definitely. And then um, he says, I'm going to plan for you to escape. We can go, um, we'll go outside or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to plan for our escape. And then... Um, Tyker makes his last appearance as Hitler yeah. with because I was waiting for I was waiting for him to just show up with half of his head blown yeah. off or something. But it's not that, it's not quite that much. Head. He's got no. a bullet hole through his head. And he's like, um again, he's like, What are you doing? Yeah. Hail me, hail me and um Joe just says, Fuck you, Hitler. Yeah. And <laughs> just kicks spa- him out of window. He hits him with a sparta kick and he goes flying out the window. 
Oh, I just have to mention another scene, that earlier scene where he jumps out the yeah, window. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't even remember what he's doing, but um, there's an earlier scene where Tiger jumps out the window and it just looks so funny. Uh, yeah, he, he's thrown or literally kicked Kicks. Hitler from his life and... They go outside. He goes outside with the Jewish girl. And oh, before they open the door, she says it's dangerous out there. And he looks at her and he goes... Extremely. Extremely. But, um... What, was it Scarlet who said, what, when it's over, I'm going to dance? They, they both did. Because after that, he's like... Because, yeah, the the fucking, the freaking Scar Joe's Was like, that in the oh. scene where they were in the wall and talking to each other? I can't remember nah, what scene that was he like. said to... Uh, Jojo said to Elsa as well. He's like, oh... You know, if if the war ends, what are you going to do? She's like, oh, probably dance. Yeah. And then at the end, it just ends with them dancing outside. She because, slaps him first. Oh, yeah, because it's been a bit of a C-U-N-T to yeah. her throughout the movie. But they start dancing together um, pretty much... Very subtly as well. It just starts off as, like, kind of... just. I mean, moving. I knew what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it kind of built up to, like, Showing, full... representing their freedom now. I mean, what are they actually going to do, though? Because... Yeah, I mean, they're kids. Jojo doesn't... Unless his dad is still alive. Which you don't really know if he is yeah. or not. So it's could... for a sequel. Yeah. <laughs> Jojo Rabbit, The Cold War. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it just ends with them dancing, signalling their freedom... Jojo's gotten over his fantasization, his brainwashment of Hitler, and realizes that Jews are just normal people like the rest of us, and falls in love with a Jewish girl. But she loves him as, as a, a little brother. Little brother, and uh, I just loved this. It was such I was worried they were gonna movie. kiss, and I was like, no, it just makes no sense. Because and, just... uh, and that scene where he was like, oh, I'm never even gonna kiss a girl because I'm yeah, so ugly. Yeah. She's like, I'll kiss you. I'm like, mm, I don't know about this. Yeah. Like, especially if you, I was literally getting Star Wars. Watch. Especially like, if you is... roll reverser and it's like a 19 year old guy and a 10 year old girl. Yeah. Like <laughs> that wouldn't go. That would not go. But this movie was just fun, eh? I loved it. Uh, Taika, is, there's something he's about him. so good. He's so naturally funny and likeable, eh? Um, yeah. His sense of comedy. What's his next movie? Will uh, it be Thor? Thor? Yeah. yeah. Which, uh, I don't know. Yeah, um, Natalie Portman. I, I mean, I, if he's sticking with the pedophile theme, then... <laughs> yeah, I, just, I really love this, though. I love all his movies. Um, this is definitely one of my favourites. I preferred this over What We Do in the Shadows. I didn't. You don't? That's my favourite movie of his. No. Oh. For me, it prob- my top three would be What We Do in the Shadows, it- and then, oh, either Thor or This is two or three. I could probably this, swap This just had, like, the kind of romantic, like, fantasy, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Like, the happy ending that I'm all here for. And it's just, it just fit my style. It was, it was really good. Um, I liked it a lot. Might have to go see it again after Payday. Maybe. Um, I'll, I'll probably just wait till it comes out. Um... Yeah, I think... This movie won a... Did it win Best Film? I don't know. At... Something. A French film? Google it. Google I'd say it right this... Um, you have the laptop there. Yeah. I'd say this will be a shoehorn for Oscar nominations. Maybe not for acting, but for, like, Best Picture. Maybe Director and Screenplay for Taika. I think you could go on. Yeah. I mean, he won't win, but he'll get the nominate. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Because um, this is based on a book, so... Adapted screenplay, I'd give that. I'd oh, give that yeah, that. yeah, yeah. But, like, uh, best director I mean, stuff like, like can, that. Oscars are unpredictable. You don't know, really. Um, especially since it's a movie about Hitler. Uh, yeah. I mean, I figured there would be some controversy for this yeah. movie. Because, like, uh, the amount of times they say how Hitler uh, is insane. Yeah, but it's never, like... Um, yeah, but it's, it's like, you know... It's all the funny. people who are Nazis like the start, are made to look dumb. Yeah, at the start, though, when he's running through the streets, and he's just like, how Hitler, how Hitler, how Hitler, how Hitler. Yeah, so here we go. Um, polarised critics drawing both praise and criticism for its comedic portrayal of Nazis. Yeah. Although but the three, performance was Rotten literally. Tomatoes, I was reading the other day that Joker is no longer certified fresh. So, <laughs> yeah. literally, Rotten Tomatoes means nothing. No. It's and dead to me. critics are... Critics just get offended so easily, which yeah. I don't know. Like, how can they just how can they call themselves critics if you just can't? They're critters. See it as a movie. Um, oh, it'll be interesting to see because, do you feel like this movie would appeal to a New Zealand audience over others, or just the style? Uh, of the, no, I don't know. I feel like the no. style of comedy will. Um, Toronto Film Festival People's Choice Award won. Which yeah. I don't know what that is, but um, it's, it's a film festival. But no, uh, this movie was sick. I loved it. 
Uh, I'd say... In my top five movies of the year. Yeah, same for me so far. Uh, I'd say this will make a lot of the... The ch- main child actor will probably get um, boosted now. Like, yeah. A lot of roles. And uh, that... The girl who plays the Joe Her name Elsa, is like Thomason. Thomason. Thomason McKenzie. She she's from New Zealand, which yeah, blew me away. And she's three days younger I thought, than me. I feel like yeah. And her name is like Thomas, which <laughs> feel, that's not my name. I feel like she but. was gonna be British, like because everyone in this movie, the German accent kind of sounded like a ninety percent British and ten percent. Except German. for the mini Elton John, who South- just didn't even <laughs> yeah. try it all. Scarlett Johansson kind of sounded South African, but um, she's in the Hobbit apparently. The last one. yeah, I feel like I'd seen her in something, but I mustn't have. Um, Oh, she was on Shortland Street for 28 episodes, which is, I guess, where she probably... Mm, I saw oh, watching Shortland Street in, like, 2008. The King. She's apparently in there. But that's it from us, I think. I think we can wrap it up there. Yeah. Did you wrap it up? Really good movie. Recommend it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been close. 30 minutes, mate. Fuck, we're on a roll. Callan signing off. And uh, catch you on the flip side. Jojo. Peace. How Hitler. How Hitler. Just like guys, look out.